Hello guys, um, off fishing now today, my rod, got my drop net ready, so that means we're heading down the pier, it's at my local mark here, I am fi normally fish here in the winter for whiting and stuff, gets a bit busy in the summer, but it's a bit of a rough day to be honest with you, I've got um, feathers, a bit of ragworm, and uh, hopefully we'll catch some mackerel, maybe chuck a live bit out to catch some bass hopefully, if not, uh, there should be garfish about and things like that, we'll see. Um, not looking too busy, as you say. As I say, it's supposed to be clearing up later, but at the moment it's looking a bit grim. A day off for us, so I might as well make the most of it. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted, see how I get on now. There it is, guys. Worked hard for them, but I've uh, been here for about 20 minutes now. The first string of three mackerel. I chuck them straight on the live bit now. And uh, we'll get a bass on them. There's the uh, second string of mackerel. Uh, I checked a few of the smaller ones back, I had five on. I'm just keeping the bigger ones there now for the table. So I'll have them for tea tonight now. So that's a uh, nice little lunch there. What do you think? We heard it, live bait mackerel. First mackerel today. Very nervous, I don't lose my first one. I can see, oh, a two! There's two. Oh, look at them. Yeah. Yeah, we take them. What are you oh, going to use them? Oh. Yeah. Get them. <laughs> Let's waste no time. Hogs. I do have one on this one. I think he's somewhere. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice little Joey size. Oh, you got two. Right. Now, I know what to do. <laughs> I'll bring them up there anyway, just show the camera. But, um, oh. Nice. Just a hole in them in there. Like one, of my, one of my feathers, my feathers are little it's baby a, it's ones. It's a beaky feathers, mate. It's just oh. lethal. I'm going to have to check these back. That's a sexy one, that is. Unfortunately, these are, well, fortunately for these bad boys, they're, they're, they're going to make it. Yeah. There you go. People are probably turning in their grave. and People are looking up there, so you're thinking, why What's is he checking doing? Why? There you go, well then, Nick. They live in the play. Bang on high tide now. Mackerel coming in thick and fast. All good sized keepers, to be fair. So, got a bag full already. Uh, I lost the cracking bass on the surface. Absolutely gutted about it. Um, nailed my uh, rod. Rod went flying over on the live mackerel. And then um, they chased the dead mackerel up to the top. Um, uh, but I uh, didn't manage to catch him. Uh, he kept spitting the mackerel out. I was gutted. If you guys want an easy way to get mackerel off, this is the way. You normally just shake off like that. There you go. But uh, yeah, coming in thick and fast. So, here's what we're doing. On the rod on the left there, I've got a live bait mackerel. Bass on this rod. I've got. Oh, something else is lying. Something else is lying. <laughs> My uh, live mackerel bait now. Just, uh, there's a sign of a few mackerel. Just dropping it down. Single, um, no, no weight. Just going to uh, drop me down, free line him, and uh, see if uh, something the bass comes and picks it up. There's a bass lurking around my live bait at the moment. Just reeled up my mackerel and I saw the bass follow it up. Um, so the mackerel is really shitting himself on there right now. <laughs> Just waiting for that to slam around any second now. There it is, lads. Got the bass on, it's just spat the mackerel out on the surface. It's a nice bass, about, about four, three, four pounds. Oh my god. It's on the surface there. Fuck, I'm gonna try and get this bad boy in now. It's hard to tell from here, but uh, this bass is about four, four pounds. And uh, it's absolutely just pulled my rod round on the live mackerel. Um, thing is, I haven't brought my bloody drop net, so. Oh. So I have to go try and get someone now who's got a drop net. Hopefully. Oh fuck. It's going like mad. <laughs> oh fuck. 
I have to catch it on this side. If it's on the beach side, I could beach it, but it's not really much of an option here. I won't be able to hold him up with my line either. It's too, it's too big for that. Just there, uh, hooked in the top lip. It's hard to tell from this angle, but it's a good size. Fucking hell. I don't think I'll be able to hold him up with my line. Oh, God, it's only just hooked in the bit. So after the success of that first day, I decided to head down for an evening session later on in the week. This time I was accompanied by my good buddy Tal, where we fished with the LRF rods down the marina using mud rag and crab as bait. Through the rig we're using here, just got a small little weight there, just a few grams. Swivel down to a 20 pound uh, leader with a 2.0 bait holder hook. Put the crab through just like that. And that's gonna hold on there nicely without bait elastic there. That should be fine, just practically free lining. A little bit of weight. And then just chuck that out here now. It's coming. Alex McGlynn is uh, hooked up here. Bass of about two pound here in the, oh, it's a nice fish, in the marina. He's gone for the, uh, oh, it's a nice fish mine. Nice fish. Here he right. comes. On the feeder rod, four, four pound main line. Get it here first. No. Here she comes. Oh, oh. No. Oh. They need a weight in the drop net or something. Yeah. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Can you let them all line up? No. Just try. If you. Is it sinking? It should sink. No, it's not sink. It oh, does. now it is. No. You wouldn't let any fucking. <laughs> Fuck I just want to drop your phone. <laughs> right, there you go. Good fun on the light gear. Yeah, I am. I want to get this in. There you go, play him up, baby. There she goes. One handed, look at that frigger of eight. Ah. <laughs> there you go. I think that's Alex's Marina PB. That is a definite Marina PB there. About two pounds. Cracking little, uh, little bass thing. Look at that. Oh, that's a lovely crab. one. I'm getting that crab. That's straight, straight away, that was. <laughs> On the crab bait. Hooked right in the scissors there. Yeah, great. I'll get a little picture of this now and then uh, get released. There we go, fish number two now. Again, this one on the mud rag. So I had one on the, uh, on the, on the crab and then one on the mud, mud rag. It's absolutely wolfed up now. Tal's, Tal's in the mood. <laughs> there you go. I'll get a little picture of this now and get it back. Is it different, man? It is. There you go, guys. That's uh, bass number two there. That was on mud drag. Slam and take. Just drop it on the side of the wall. Different venue and a uh, different fish. Lovely, uh, lovely bass. Look at that. Cracking Gorgeous. fish. Gorgeous fish. There you go. Again, on the light gear. Nice Simplistic fish. fishing. There he goes. There you go, he's swimming straight off. Straight down. Down for uh, down right to Tal's bait, hopefully. Oh yeah, baby. I've heard the call. The call from young Tal. Fish on on the crab. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Game away from that. Oh yeah. He's out, is he? Any size? No idea. Ooh. Nice. Nice one. Let's give me a second to sort this bloody net out. On the crab. Is that on the side? Yeah, that. I cut that towards that body, but it came back towards the side. Heave ho! Oh, look at that. Good fun. On the LRF rod, you can't beat it. 
Look at that. Four. There you go, tells a happy boy now. <laughs> out. Not bad, not bad. Nice little schoolie. <laughs> take it. You take them. You take them. There we go. Get this little picture for him now. But that's uh, the third bass now in this session. It's going well. <laughs> Set a nibble there. There you go, fish on. Different species, third species of the day, a nice little goby. There you go. It's a funky looking fish. Little goby. Look at that. Awesome. There he goes. Fish number three, another small goby. Lots of these around today. Lots of these about little gobies. And the flip flop as well. <laughs> oh, what have we got here, guys? Cork ring brass. Different species there. There you go, guys. You can see it there. Nice little wrasse. Something different. Straight back. Straight back he goes. Just about to reel in to go home. And we fucked into something. Monster. The monster. Fucking almost bent the, almost broke the rod in half, to be honest. It. It's taking me for a walk. <laughs> that was mental, that take. That was absolutely insane. Yeah, it's not. It's not I've got quite a low drag on it. It's not. It's not taking any line. Where are you? Yeah, it's just kiked in. I can't really. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to put too much pressure on it though, I've only got four, four pound line. Just take my time with it. Let the rod do the work. Got a nice little indicator there with that. Can you see him? Strain on it there. Is there? Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, uh, for the same size. Get the old uh, net down there. Like that. There you go, lovely little bass. Yeah, exactly. It feels a little bit heavier with that weed. Let's get the head up now. Pull, heave. go. Another nice schooly bass on the crab. Cracking. I wish I had the take on camera. That was a lovely take. I'll uh, get this unhooked now and then get another picture and go.
Hope you enjoyed the video guys and as always please like and subscribe.